in this week's Adventist News. Walking to fight human trafficking this August. Fiji celebrates 911 baptisms during their first stage of harvest. And Dandenong Polish Church serves the community during COVID-19. Hello and welcome to Record Wrap. I'm Mary Ellen Fairfax. Members of Gold Coast Central Adventist Church in Queensland, Andrew and Julie Cahoon, have launched a new anti-human trafficking campaign through their organisation, Captivating International. Beginning tomorrow, Stop Trafficking 5K will raise funds to help young girls escape a life of sex slavery. Participants are encouraged to run or walk as many five-kilometre distances as they can during the month of August. There is also the opportunity to sponsor participants. Captivating International works with 11 local partners in Nepal and the Philippines to conduct border interceptions and save young girls from being trafficked. On average, a girl is intercepted every 90 minutes. In 2006, Andrew and Julie left their corporate careers in Sydney to dedicate their lives to stop trafficking. Andrew himself plans to run 100 kilometres. And to support Andrew or to raise funds for Captivating International, please register at stoptrafficking5k.org. The first stage of evangelism for the Trans-Pacific Union Mission's 2020 Harvest Initiative has resulted in 911 baptisms across Fiji. In February, more than 700 young people from across Fiji trained as lay preachers for their youth evangelism campaign. However, COVID-19 lockdowns pushed much of the outreach online. Baptisms in July were split into smaller groups to adhere to social distancing rules. The second phase of Fiji's harvest will see young people preaching throughout August to the Hindi-speaking community in Fiji. Other trans-Pacific countries will also conduct their harvest program throughout August and September. And finally, despite being trapped in the worst COVID-19 outbreak in Australia so far, Dandenong Polish Adventist Church in Victoria have been reaching out to the most vulnerable in their community. About 40 homeless and disadvantaged people receive a takeaway meal, a package of breakfast foods and hot drinks prepared by a team of church members every week. The church has been opening their doors on Monday evenings from 6 to 8 p.m. However, this may change due to increasing lockdown restrictions. Well, that's all for this week's Record Wrap. Have a wonderful weekend and God bless.